Uh, do you believe that rhetoric targeting officials with violence for carrying out their constitutional duties um, is a threat to democracy? Yes. Only a few weeks after the attempted attack on a Supreme Court justice on June 25th, Alejandro Caraballo tweeted out the following in response to a decision on abortion overturning Roe v. Wade, and I'll quote directly from the tweet, the six justices who overturned Roe should never know peace again. It is our civic duty to accost them every time they're in public. They are pariahs. Since women don't have their rights, these justices should never have a peaceful moment in public again. Alejandra Caraballo also recently tweeted on November 19th, not even a month ago, that the Supreme Court, vested with the judicial power of the United States by our Constitution, stated they are not a legitimate court issuing decisions. And also the Supreme Court is an organ of the far right. So my last question today of Ms. Caraballo, do you stand by these comments, this kind of rhetoric on social media, and do you believe it's a threat to democracy? Thank you, Representative, for the opportunity to clarify and provide context to my tweets. <clears throat> um, and I have a question. question, is it yes or no? Do you believe your rhetoric is a threat to democracy when you're calling to accost a branch of government, the Supreme Court? I don't believe that's a correct act, uh, characterization of my tweeted, statements. Though. Did you not tweet that, that you thought that the Supreme Court justices should be accosted? Did what I'm saying is that that, yes no? that is not an accurate characterization of my statements. Ms. Caraballo, on page 12 and 13 of your written testimony, you painted concerned parents as having been infiltrated by white nationalists and far-right militia groups, which played a significant role in school board protests. This has not, this has not actually been my experience with concerned parents. 